The universe is never-ending, as are the questions within it. From the newest technology designed to help us look further for answers to developments in the theories we are trying to confirm, there is so much out there for us to explore. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three astronomical discoveries. NASA's Hubble sees asteroids spouting six comet-like tails. It's truly thrilling when we understand more and more of the world that is out there, and that excitement is only enhanced as astronomers make these discoveries using their own equipment. NASA's Hubble Space Telescope uncovered a celestial body we had never seen anything like before. Upon its discovery in 2013, it was affectionately dubbed Weird and Freakish. This unknown body was discovered within an asteroid belt, but this does not seem like any ordinary asteroid. Usually, an asteroid will look like a tiny speck of light, but this discovery, P-2013, seems to have six tails of dust coming off it, likened by NASA to spokes coming off a wheel. These tails each look like something you would see trailing behind a comet, though to see six on what seems to be an asteroid is highly unusual. Lead investigator David Jewett of the University of California explained that what was even more amazing, shocking and impressive was that over a 13-day period, the structures of these tails had undergone massive changes. He said, it's hard to believe we're looking at an asteroid. One explanation for the unusual-looking asteroid is that the rate it was rotating at increased so much that the surface effectively began to fly apart releasing excessive amounts of dust in the process. This could have been possible due to the weak gravity of the asteroid not being able to hold it all together. After the initial discovery, Hubble went back just 13 days later, and the asteroid looked entirely different. Jewett commented, We were completely knocked out. The next step for the team is to see if they can calculate the accurate rate of rotation for the asteroid to compare this speed to their expectations. NASA releases brilliant image of star from James Webb Space Telescope. There was great excitement at the end of 2021 as the James Webb Space Telescope launched from Europe's spaceport in Kourou, French Guyana. But as much excitement as there was, there was also a great deal of nerves, as experts anxiously waited to see if all of the work, effort and money that was invested would pay off. Fortunately, the launch went incredibly well, and on March 16, 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope reached an incredible milestone. NASA shared with the world the first image taken from the James Webb Space Telescope after the focus had been sharpened. This is designed to help us study and investigate some of the earliest galaxies out there in the universe. The first shot taken, following adjustments, features the bright orange star with the snappy name 2 Mass J17554042655127. In the background of this stunning view are several galaxies we are yet to identify. Officials report that the telescope is doing far better than the minimum requirements, and so the astronomical community is buzzing with hopes for some amazing new discoveries to be just upon the horizon. The next step is to characterize the sharpness of the images that Webb is taking. While more aligning is needed, the telescope is well on its way to exceeding our expectations. We cannot wait to see what is yet to come. Astronomers observe two stars so close to each other that they will end up merging into a supermassive star. There are so many questions out there in the universe for us to attempt to answer, and for each one, we have multiple guesses, theories, models, and explanations, all feeding into one another as we try to unravel some of the mysteries in our universe. As we try to unpick each question, we conduct studies and gather data to shed some light on the puzzle. It goes without saying just how exciting it is when a study can do just that, shed some light on the matter and confirm that what before was purely theoretical could in fact be true. One study in 2014 did just that. A study of the binary star system NY Camelopardalis 
published in the scientific journal Astronomy and Astrophysics in 2014, revealed that most of what are referred to as massive stars out there in the universe are formed from combining with several other smaller stars. Before this research took place, this had been the leading theory and it only becomes more exciting when we confirm aspects of our understanding. Within our galaxy, the Milky Way, most of the stars do not stand alone, but rather as part of binary systems or multiple systems. A binary star system consists of two stars that orbit one another. They are gravitationally bound, meaning they exist together as a unit. Some of these systems with two or more orbiting stars in our galaxy are undergoing a process known as eclipsing, meaning they experience transits and eclipses when observed from down here on Earth, due to the direction their orbital plane faces in relation to our planet. When there is an eclipse in these systems, what happens is as the stars move in front of one another, they momentarily block the light of another star. When we look at this happening from Earth, our equipment can spot a change in the brightness of these stars, letting us know what is happening. The 2014 publication focuses in on just one of these massive eclipsing binary star systems, MY Camelopardalis, otherwise known as MY Cam. MY Cam is one of the largest star systems we know of, thanks to the research gathered through observations from the Cala Alto Observatory by astronomers at the University of Alicante the Astrobiology Center of the Spanish National Research Council and the Canaries Astrophysics Institute, alongside a handful of amateur astronomers. As evident from the breadth of this team, this study had all hands on deck. The research paper suggested that MYCAM is so large as it is composed of two other stars. These stars are named as spectral type OO, meaning they are blue, very bright and have a sky-high temperature. Spectral types classify stars based upon the light they emit, in both color and the spectral lines observed in their light. Type O is the hottest of the seven categories, with the hotter lights appearing bluer to our eyes. Each of the two Type O stars are very close to each other and rather large. One of the stars has a mass 38 times greater than our Sun, and the other has a mass 32 times greater. To provide some perspective, these stars orbit one another in just 1.2 days, making it the shortest known orbital period for this type of star. This has led researchers to suggest that these stars were first formed into this binary system in a very similar manner to what we can observe now, placing them almost in contact with one another when they were formed. It was thought that the stars would merge into one object more than 60 solar masses before any notable developments or evolutions would take place for either of the individual planets. The case of MYCAM seems to suggest that two stars can grow to be very large, substantial massive stars before forming into one supermassive star. It is not overly common in the universe to have stars like our Sun. Our Sun moves alone in the galaxy. There are no other stars to accompany it, simply the Sun and its planets traveling through space. Although this was the first system for us to become familiar with on Earth, most of the time there is at least one other star along for the journey. Stars that form binary systems like these orbit one common center of mass. MYCAM, found in the constellation of the giraffe, has become one of the best examples of these systems, due to the bright nature of one of the stars, Alicante 1, which has been named a stellar nursery by the researchers at the University of Alicante. Though for now these stars remain entirely distinct, theories suggest that they could one day form into one. As researchers began to study MYCAM using theories such as the Doppler effect and equipment such as the Focus spectrograph, Astrophysicists were able to measure the velocities of these stars. Similarly, we were able to understand more of the characteristics and properties of the stars, from their temperature and size to an in-depth analysis of their spectra. Not only has this research managed to confirm aspects of theories and edit our predictions in the formation of massive binary star systems, but we also have been able to apply spectra techniques and uncover more about these stars individually too. This work is incredibly fascinating, especially as our understanding is proving to be somewhat on the right track.
But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please help us grow this community by liking and subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.